What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Just Sing. Uh, we took a short break. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but we are back. <laughs> we are back uh, in a new studio with new lights, new sound, new everything. Mm-hmm. We even uh, replaced Jade Rasif with a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we have a special guest with us today. Uh, his name is Dr. Andrew. Uh, he is a dentist. Hello. And the reason why we brought a dentist on is because... Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Mm-hmm. Teeth whitening products can cause teeth sensitivity. I did yes. not know. You knew? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Alright. Okay. That, that so kind of ruined the Sorry. <laughs> Episode. Sorry. So it's, I think you should switch places. Sorry she's, about that. You Sorry can about interview that. her. Yeah, now she's, Sorry the, about she's that. a dentist. I'm the dentist. See, I brought my dentist coat. Ah, That's why that I'm the dentist this today. This is a dentist coat from... <laughs> okay, I actually, I actually <laughs> never knew about the teeth whitening causing I teeth sensitivity. I didn't know. I just know mm. if you never brush your teeth, everything else happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah. that makes sense because I take care of my oral health. Like, I'm very, very OCD about it. Mm. Yet, I have tooth sensitivity. Yeah. So, Again? Tooth sensitivity. sensitivity. <laughs> your tongue? Okay. Do you brush your tongue? I actually do brush my tongue. Yeah, but yes, uh, tongue. no, uh, recently there's a trend of yeah. uh, teeth whitening procedures. So that's yeah. why we decided to bring Dr. Andrew to speak more about it. So doctor, um, teeth whitening... Can cause teeth sensitivity. I think all three of us use um, teeth whitening procedures. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, uh, maybe you can tell us how this causes teeth uh, sensitivity. So let's start by asking you guys a question. Yeah. Mm. What do you use for teeth whitening? I use the strips, the at home strips. strips yeah. Okay. Mm. Yourself, Ju? I don't strip. <laughs> <laughs> I, I use not. a teeth whitening uh, correct. Color corrector. Color, color corrector. Uh, yeah, color, 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 color. Excuse his language. Yeah, my English. <laughs> it's been a while. My English also is not very good. Yeah. Uh, no, I use that. Uh, like uh, a charcoal sort of thing. No, it's like a so. color corrector for your teeth. Yeah. Like a pen. Yeah, it's like a pen, or I use like some oh, abrasive stuff where I wrap also my the teeth. the gel is in the pen. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sure. yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Or, I use charcoal. Oh, you, you use yeah. Charcoal. Yeah, like activated charcoal. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So there's a couple of reasons why. Generally speaking, we've got a, a chemical reaction going on and then we also have a physical reaction going yeah. on. So in your case with the charcoal, that's probably more going to be like an abrasive. And when you <laughs> brush your teeth, then that abrasiveness will wear out a little bit of your tooth structure, exposing the sensitive part. And you might get sensitivity from that. Whereas with you guys, if you're using the gel, that does a couple of things. The 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 gel itself uh, can be an irritant. Uh, it can also cause some dehydration of the mm. tooth, which oh. is uh, fluid movement within the tubules of the tooth. I'll talk about this in a moment. Okay. It'll make okay. more sense later on. Yeah. But um, it will dry out the tooth a little bit more. Okay. okay. Wait, I have a question. A charcoal is black. Yeah. Why would you wrap something black on white teeth? Because What's the theory behind that? So charcoal itself is an abrasive, as I've just said. Yeah. So on the top of your tooth, you can get something called an ex- extrinsic stain. So okay. stains from coffee, from mm-hmm. uh, wine, from smoking. Yeah. Those things are just stuck on top of the tooth. So what can happen is if you have an abrasive, you're basically just polishing it off. Oh, so, yeah. so it's like what we do okay. at the dentist. Uh, you guys use a ex- water pump exactly. or... Ex- exactly. So what? at the dentist, we'll do the same thing. We'll get an abrasive yeah. and we'll polish off the stains. So what would you say is the difference between like an abrasive that I'm using versus the one at a dentist? Uh, the degree of inv- uh, abrasiveness. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's part of it. And also when we use our pace, the... Actual particle size, the particle shape also comes into play. Mm. So if you have very rough edges on a microscopic level, then that's going to be more rough on your teeth. Uh, sometimes we use paste and powder, mm. which is spherical. So it's mm. it's it's uh, manufactured a very different way, mm-hmm. and it's more gentle on your tooth and the gums. Yeah, so okay, abrasiveness will remove. So if it's not a water pump, what is it called? What do you guys use? <laughs> it's like the thing that goes. We use a, we use, okay, so there's two types. Yeah. We use something called an air profi, which we spray yeah. out some uh, basically chalk onto your teeth. And then there's another one where the dentist uses a little cup mm. and then we put a little bit of paste inside the cup yes. and then we rub yeah, that on yeah, the surface. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that's called the, the buffing, buffing. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that, we call that a, a po- profi enough. polish, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't try to make up 
a gentle term. That's why we have him here. Out of topic, very random. We had discussion about why dentists... Um, dis- <laughs> okay, yes. This is like a very yeah. important question, okay? Why do dentists speak to you while they have tools <laughs> in your mouth? So it's only as soon as my dentist gets into my teeth that he will ask, so how are you? <laughs> is that a distraction? Yeah, part of it is. I mean, we have to make supposed to respond? You don't have to respond. You can, you can just say, ah. Uh, uh. uh, you know, we'll understand. Whatever you say, we'll understand. <laughs> no, so I actually remember. But why? It's like... I don't it's like eating with your mouth full. Yeah, it's like, like speaking uh-huh, with your mouth full. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We'll, 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 we've learned over many years of practice what the patient is telling us. So okay. Uh, okay. we'll kind of understand. Okay. So, but I also understand because I feel like everyone is scared to visit a dentist. Oh, like everyone. Yeah. Like yeah. no matter how good your teeth are, you just don't want to visit a dentist. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I love. I I no. had such a phobia when I was a kid and I never went back to the dentist till I was like 21, I, I, I 22. I think that type of anxiety doesn't yeah. exist as much and it's oh. not so prevalent because the kids we treat these days tend to have a very good upbringing. They have much less dental decay because of lots of schemes. Mm. Uh, they have better hygiene than mm, all mm, of us. Mm, mm. Their diets are probably better. Mm, mm. You know, we're, we're really? more conscious about what we're eating these days, especially as a parent. Like, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah and yeah, so sure. we actually see less dental phobia with children these days, and we actually have kids that love to come to see the dentist. Aww, so sweet. different story, maybe. Yeah. You know. I was afraid mainly because of the sounds, like it. Oh, the yeah, It bothered me when ee. like it was like, okay. ee, and yeah, yeah. I just had the fear. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We have yeah. TVs in um, most clinics in Singapore will have TVs in the ceiling, and uh, oh. that's a massive distraction. Mm. When I first graduated, that's... I used to have to sing to kids. I used to have to. I learned hip- hypnotism. Wow. I used to have to tell stories. Hypnotism, Nowadays, you just... hypnotism to kids, not that. I mean, <laughs> what do you do? You sit the kids down, and then you what? Why do you want to hypnotize kids? Now we just turn on the TV, and then the kids are like zonked oh, out. Oh, that's clever. You, know? you see, I was a kid a very long time ago before TV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had no TV in yeah, the yeah. clinic. No, it's a very common thing now. <laughs> okay. okay, sorry. Back, back to topic. <laughs> yes. Uh, so abrasiveness removes uh, a layer of the teeth. So yeah, inside your tooth, can I, can I yes. bring this oh, little yes. picture yeah. up? Yes. Yes. Okay. Bring us back to school. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. All right. So I've got a little poster here of uh, basically the anatomy of a tooth. Yeah. And I'm going to refer to a few things. So I might as well teach you this right now. Um, inside your... Oh, your tooth in a cross section has uh, enamel up the top here, mm. and inside there's dentine, and inside there's a pulp. Okay, so there's three different layers. Outside of the root here, there's something called cementum. The cementum and the dentine actually protect the, sorry, the cementum and the enamel protect the dentine. Okay. Once the dentine is exposed, then you get the potential for tooth sensitivity. Oh. So anything that touches or stimulates uh, the dentine mm-hmm. can cause a, a sensitivity to trigger. Okay. okay. So I'll talk about that as we go along. Okay. Yeah. So that is abrasiveness. Okay. So you remove the top. So the abrasiveness like, actually sense. wears away either the cementum or the enamel, mm. exposing those little tubules that go straight to the pulp, which causes the sensitivity. Ooh. Is it Stop. irreversible? Irreversible in the sense that, uh, yeah, it's not going to heal of its own accord totally. The, the, yeah. the body will try some form of repair, uh, but generally, no. It, oh. Sorry, it, it will oh. not repair. Charcoal, some more. Listen to your ex boyfriend, some more. So then, how do we achieve whiter teeth? No, yeah. wait, wait. So, oh, wait, okay. so that is charcoal. Yeah. Then, what about hers? Hers, she used the gel. strips. Yeah, the, use yeah the gel. I, I use the gel. So, yeah. when you have a, a particular gel on your tooth, usually it's hydrogen peroxide mm. or yeah. carbamide peroxide, okay, which breaks down into hydrogen peroxide anyway. Uh, that will actually form some sort of uh, osmotic sort of movement of fluid throughout the tubules, Mm. okay? Mm. And that movement itself is what stimulates you to get sensitivity. Um, Sometimes some of these gels, I don't know if you've seen it, come with a light. Yeah. Ah, yes, the blue light. You bite on the light. That light heats up the tooth, number one. That Any sort of change in temperature can also cause sensitivity. So that light Mm. itself, even though the temperature change is very subtle, Mm. um, you can still get some sort of sensitivity from that. And the big one is actually it'll dry out your tooth. So most whitening procedures, even the ones that you do at the dentist, okay, will cause a transient sensitivity based on the fact that the tooth dries out a bit. Oh, man. (laughs) 
<laughs> right. Like said, no, because I, I feel like uh, I think the most common thing is like, okay, we use all the products that's available online. And then if yeah. it doesn't work, then the last choice is the dentist. <laughs> and then now... Yeah, the dent- I suppose. So but how? Because you think like, you you know, you can just do it at home and, and it's yeah. easier. Shows results. Yeah. Sure, sure. sure what sure. about natural whitening? Like, uh, like lemon, strawberry? Yeah. Oh, okay. Those? So all these things you see on TikTok and stuff uh, or, or other forms of social media uh, have some sort of basis to them. So let's take, you, you mentioned lemon. Again, yeah. that's an acid, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, it will also cause, uh, it also dry up the tooth a little bit. Mm. Uh, it can actually cause the degradation of the enamel. So you actually lose some tooth mater- material. Okay. Uh, so that's not great. So I don't think we have teeth at 50. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. No, so then how then do we achieve whiter teeth? Okay. Yeah. So a lot of these gels which you're using actually can work. I, yeah. I, I don't have a problem uh, telling, I don't deny patients from mm. using it, prohibit them from using it. Um, however, I do make sure that before they start any whitening procedure, we check their teeth to make sure there's no other reason that could be attri- attributed to the sensitivity mm. that they're getting. Right. So for instance, if you're getting uh, the sensitivity because you've actually got a hole there, Okay, then when you put the bleach on, that's just going to make things worse. And you're not going to actually deal with the pathology, which is the tooth decay. Um, you might actually be having sensitivity because you've chipped a tooth or you've mm. broken a tooth and you've exposed the dentine there. You're grinding your teeth maybe and you've lost some. That's me. That's you? Yeah. You guys yeah. grind your teeth. Yeah. My yeah. dentist gave me this thing like fantastic, a guide yeah. Yeah, when yeah. I sleep. Lots of people grind. Yeah. And as you're grinding, you're going to wear away the enamel. When you hit the dentine, you'll get sensitivity. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, can you explain to us how strong is a, a tooth? Like, for example, how long, sorry, how many years of grinding will it, will then my teeth get? So Everyone's different. Everyone's you, different. He understands your question. <laughs> <laughs> Please just right, it's put been a while, man. It's been, it's been for been the been question. <laughs> we all got it, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Everyone is different. <laughs> but okay, okay what if you give us a range? <laughs> He gets it, he gets it. Anecdotally, <laughs> anecdotally, I have seen patients uh, grind their teeth and within a few years, it gets to a point when they need quite severe treatment with crowns Ooh. and stuff like oh. that. Um, it's been 31 years, man, since I yeah. <laughs> Most I people, it's quite a gradual process. Yeah. yeah. There are other issues with uh, teeth grinding. You can get joint pain and stuff yeah. like that. TMJ. Yeah, TMJ pain. Yeah. yeah. So how often would you recommend somebody whitening their teeth at like the dentist? Uh, Everyone is, again, everyone is different. Mm -hmm. Uh, So when we talk about sensitivity, uh, I'll I'll not talk about sensitivity just yet, but if you're talking about whitening, there is kind of an upper limit. When you whiten your teeth so much that the teeth become transparent, and you can actually see. <laughs> who does the, that though? <laughs> no, uh, you'd be surprised. There are people who want really. I'm going to Google and they just keep on going. Google transparent teeth. Transparent. Okay, they don't become transparent totally, uh. but they 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 become a little bit more translucent, and oh you can goodness. see the dentine layer underneath. Ooh. Okay, that means uh, you've pretty much bleached as much as you can. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, also, the other way to stop you, uh, yeah. the other thing that might stop you, is if you get that sensitivity. Okay, so the sensitive once I once you get sensitive, I tell my patients stop, mm. um, and then apply something to to soothe it, and that might oh. be a desensitizing agent or okay. toothpaste. Do you think okay. people get addicted to teeth whitening? Yeah. I feel like it's. it's I, a, I think so. With a lot of social media stuff, there's definitely been an uptrend. A lot of people are facing the camera, yeah, and they first thing you notice is always going to be their smile. Yeah, no, they, mine is. Uh, <laughs> I look down. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What is you saying, what guys? I lower happening? my gaze. Uh, oh, yeah. that's why I look down. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I have an image of it. But we, we've okay. seen a lot okay. of people do bleaching uh, and yeah. these days yeah. simply because they're doing stuff like being on TV. So during yeah. COVID, mm. a lot of people came in for whitening because they were in front of a TV for Zoom. That's what I did. So yeah. much yeah. like you guys right here, you're yeah. in front of the lens all the time. Uh, the first thing that you can do. Uh, that is probably non-invasive mm. and fairly simple to do mm-hmm. um, is whiten your teeth. So mm. a lot of people do it. Okay. So okay. if teeth whitening can cause tooth sensitivity, is it teeth sensitivity or tooth sensitivity? Just Depends on whether it's one, one, or, one, or, one, or, one, or, one or two. <laughs> okay. If, that, if teeth whitening can cause sensitivity, do dentists um, give like, I don't know, uh, 
anti-sensitivity treatments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're going to be prone to teeth sensitivity, mm. uh, and we know that as a dentist, so sometimes before a procedure, we might say to you, hey, look, use this particular gel. Mm. It contains potassium nitrate, which will help um, dull the senses of the nerve Ooh. so that when you do whiten your teeth, um, it's not going to be so bad. After the treatment is done, you can also apply something similar as well. There's various different types of desensitizing agents, but mm. you can use it before and after. Mm. Um, if it's very aggressive, then you do it before as well in okay. addition to after. Mm. So like uh, sensitivity, toothpaste, Gel. You can use that. And there are also things you can get from your dentist. Oh, nice. Okay. 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 So, Keisha, what toothpaste are you using right now? Oh, so I'm currently using a charcoal activated toothpaste. Yep. Um, but I feel like I still have a little bit of sensitivity going on in my okay. mouth. Yeah. Um, you can help manage that sensitivity by using a desensitizing toothpaste. Mm -hmm. Each different toothpaste uses a different sort of method. You can try them out. Okay. At least it's good that there's some hope. Yeah. Yeah. No, but what if you go to the dentist and then you say, hi, I would like... I would like to whiten my teeth. And then after you whiten, they're like, please use this in case you get sensitive. Wouldn't you be like, huh? No, I'd be like, okay, yeah. I no, understand. No, it's, a, it's a common yeah. complaint after whitening. It will, it, it's likely to happen and we call it transient, so it will pass. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Okay. So if all these people doing teeth whitening procedures, uh, it might cause sensitivity. So does, do dentists uh, recommend like procedures to kind of reverse that? Uh, yeah, to mitigate against the sensitivity, what we can do is uh, prescribe desensitizing agents. Mm. This can be done either before or after. Mm. If you're doing something at home, then you can just simply get a desensitizing toothpaste and then put that mm. brush onto your teeth uh, after the treatment is done. And that can help with the post-operative sensitivity of whitening for yourself. Okay. Uh, if it's a very serious case, the dentist might ask you to do this beforehand as well. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about teeth whitening and how it can cause sensitivity. But we've also heard of stories where people have sensitive tooth yeah. without doing teeth mm. whitening procedures. So how does that happen? So like I said earlier on, the anatomy of the tooth is such that there's a pulp in the middle and it's surrounded by dentine. And then protecting all of that is the enamel on the top and yeah. the cementum around the roots. The dentine actually... Uh, contains little tubules, little tunnels that go from the outside of it to the pulp. Mm. And inside those tubules, you'll get little nerve fibers. And if you stimulate those nerve fibers, you're going to get sensitivity. So if we remove the protective layer outside, which is the enamel or the cementum, okay, and you expose the dentine, and then you stimulate that dentine either with something thermal, something hot, uh, which is hot and cold, something osmotic, might be sour or mm -hmm. acidic, or just by tactile sensation when you're touching it, mm. then you'll get some sensitivity. Okay. I can't talk about teeth. Yeah, I feel like, like it's yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. like yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I get what you mean. I, I get what you mean. I don't know. I know what you mean. So <laughs> does that mean like drinking something acidic every single day is actually really bad for you because you... Yeah, so acid will actually demineralize your mm. enamel? Uh, enamel and oh the cementum gosh. and the dentine. And so what's happening is you're chemically uh, eroding the tooth. Oh. So you're losing tooth structure that way. <laughs> no. So, so what is, so what stay is away acidic? from acidic drinks. Like lemon, lemon oh, juice, lemon, lemonade. carbonated drinks, uh -huh. uh, even wine, coffee. It has a very mm. uh, low acidity value, but... Even it's though it's acid. slightly acidic. That's why our parents every time say drink water. Drink water, water is the best. Water, water is the best. best. Water, water is the best. best. Like, yeah. yeah. But I thought Singapore water got a bit of chlorine, no? <laughs> I think everyone has a bit of chlorine. I think it's okay. Singapore yeah. water has a very good amount of fluoride in it. Okay. Mm. Fluoride. fluoride helps fluoride. with the sensitivity. Yes, fluoride. fluoride. Go. All okay, right. so yeah, uh, acidic drinks. Uh, what about food? So anything uh, like you're going to say. Spicy food, then it's done for us. Because we are, yeah, we yeah. were just like... Mm. We are Malays. So. We only eat spicy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so let's go back to the abrasiveness issue. So if you eat very hard foods, if you have a very grainy sort of diet, okay. if you... Uh, I know a, a lot of vegetarians have told me that they get a lot of sand. They haven't washed their vegetables. Oh they haven't God. washed their vegetables well, and then they get a bit of sand inside their diet. These are vegans. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that can traumatize the tooth a little bit. Uh, so anything physical, if you're grinding, like we said. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're talking foodstuffs. What else? Um, yeah, if, if you're biting crab shells or stuff like that, you might chip a tooth. 
damaging the enamel, which is mm. protecting the dentine. Oh, well, that's why I always use the. You got to yeah, use yeah. the claws. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So, but, what are some signs of? Mm, what are some signs of tea sensitivity? Can you actually physically see it? I mean, apart from feeling, nah. you, yeah. you can feel a groove. That okay. oh. so sensitivity is the symptom that you're getting. Um, so when you get these little grooves and defects on your teeth, yep. it may not necessarily translate to sensitivity. Not everyone gets sensitivity mm. yeah. um, the same way. But if you're talking about how do you know you're getting tooth sensitivity, it's usually a short, sharp sort of sensation that lasts less than a couple of seconds. Yeah. yeah. There is a problem where if it lasts longer than a couple of seconds, it might be an indicator of something worse. <gasps> and again, these are things which your dentist will help test out for. Like a decay? Yeah. Could be decay or pulp problems with the tooth. Um, That's scary. Pulpitis or something like that, which means the nerve, the pulp inside is not completely healthy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared. Oh. I, I'm okay, what happens? Like, let's say I avoid all this kind of yeah. food. No, wait, wait, wait. So apart from feeling, is that can you see it? So is the is the is the grooves on your teeth? If, so that's if, visible. If there's a physical, yeah. If if you're brushing too hard and it's abrasive, then yeah, you can end up with grooves on your teeth. You yeah. can end up with flat teeth. Well, any anything that shows the dentine yeah. underneath, yeah, uh, or exposes it. Uh, no. Like, do I? Can you see grooves? Uh, yeah, you need to no, check. No, I, I can't all see out. here. But... <laughs> hey, don't try to get free consultation, okay? Pay for your dentist. <laughs> yeah, so I have very bad teeth sensitivity mm. at the bottom row of my teeth. Mm. And this is not because of, of the food I consume or whatever. I had a freak accident. Like, uh, I don't oh, know if yeah. you guys told you about this no. freak accident. Okay. Long story short, me being a very fit guy. Agree? Yes. We can thank that, you very yeah. much. Just yes, thank you very on. much. Yeah. And uh, one day I decided to, to do a uh, tire flipping. Right? <laughs> so, me being, again, being a very fit guy, yes. tried to flip the tire. Uh, I did, I did flip the tire, but the floor was wet. So, imagine I'm doing this. I slipped in front. <gasps> the force of me pulling up the tire, me going down, my teeth went like this. Boom. And then so hard, it went like this, and my bottom row got pushed out. Pushed out. And I couldn't close my mouth. When so when I, when I want to, this was a few months oh, ago, two months, three months ago. Scary. So I went to the dentist, right? And the dentist said, uh, so the dentist was like, uh, okay, we, we need to like pull it back. And she kept doing this action. So she pulled it back? Yeah, so in my head, I'm going to sit on a chair <laughs> and she put something here and pull it back. <laughs> so, I, so I wanted to make sure, I'm like, okay, with what? And she said, my two fingers. Yeah. Excuse we just, me? We just pinch it back into place. Yeah. Uh, so it, what? Exactly. So I thought, okay, maybe you're going to put something and then you screw and then you wait for it. I said, sit down for one hour and wait for it to slowly shift back. Dude, no, come back. on, dude. No, I thought in my head, like, okay, maybe it's like braces, right? Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Two fingers. So she, she, she's like, okay, we, yeah. No, she said, I'm going to inject a lot of anesthesia because it's really going to hurt if you oh don't have anesthesia. Gosh. So inject, inject, inject. 30 minutes, dude. It's just... <laughs> now my teeth is extremely, <laughs> like, here it, it's only one now it's only one two that is very sensitive yeah. and she told me like uh, you definitely have to use uh, sorry do a root canal okay. like a root canal oh. sure. yeah so but then after this happened and then uh, she fixed this go went back again I had so many chips that, that came from oh, the no. from the oh fall. no and I didn't even realize that I, I swallowed all, all of it okay. I was in so much trauma that's so why I had like chips here chips here chips here so I had to fill oh, everything no. up but really? the rest are okay and then, uh, yeah, so then I had this sensitivity and I actually use, so that's why, that's why I asked the question if you guys uh, recommend, I actually use uh, a, like tooth sensitivity toothpaste, Please? which is uh, sure. Sensodyne. Wanna... Yeah, me too, actually. Yeah, yeah. I actually brought it. This one, <laughs> I, I use, I personally use uh, this one and it works. I swear to God, I've been using this for three months and okay. it, yeah. it, it really works. Okay. Yeah, I'm like I can eat, also. I can eat, uh, I can eat uh. ice cream. Ah, and it's whitening. Ah, yes. <laughs> it's two in one. Hey, yeah, whitening. So you can sensitive. eat and smile very nicely. Oh, eat and smile very nicely. Gotcha. I actually planned a game for us. For oh, the yeah. of us, if you want to join All us, right. please. I'm excited. Um, it's, it's a test of how sensitive our tooth is. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, I bought some um, tooth... S Teeth inducing... See, sensitivity inducing sensitivity. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some food that might or might not trigger sensitivity. Okay, okay so let's go, breathe. Okay. Okay, okay, let's, okay, let's go, go get the food. Okay, so I bought uh, some food that might or might not cause, cause, cause this sensitivity. <laughs> okay, how about Muna? Okay, Muna, you go first. Okay, I'm going to uh, try the potong first. Yeah. 
啊，可以滴，但要都好啲。首先嘅 ，OK， ready。I feel like I'm just like setting myself up for it, though. Failure. Like, you know, I have sensitivity. Okay, yeah. Okay, hey? because like my two bottom teeth, mm. they're usually the sensitive ones, mm. and it's usually when I take like cold, th- like yeah. really cold stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You okay, done. Done. enough. Huh? Okay, so let's try. Be brave. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Maybe at always the bottom yours. a little bit like a short sharp feeling here. Yeah, why is it always at the bottom? Yeah. Actually, it hits very fast, ah. Huh? Yeah. 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 The, the thinnest teeth. The it's thinnest like taste, it's yeah. like it's like a like short sharp feeling. feeling. Yeah. 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 See, I use charcoal yeah. some more. Stop, yeah. stop, stop, stop eating! You're stop <laughs> eating. This is <laughs> why my <laughs> sensitivity. <laughs> so what we do in lemon is we. I'm not done. <laughs> you want to finish? <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> okay. Who's actually my favorite? Um, Potong. <laughs> Okay, lemon. What do we do? We. This is not what a dentist actually advises people to do. By the way, don't do this at home. Don't yeah? try this at home. The this lemon says this is, don't yeah, yeah, this don't is, buy a lemon. This is acidic. This is not meant to go well for us. But what is this? Uh, once in a blue moon. <laughs> once. Okay, so what do we do? Just for, bite for, it? for educational purposes. For educational here we go. purposes. Here we go. Oh, then what about tequila, tequila shots? For the team. No. Oh yeah. <laughs> tequila so shots. So no to tequila shots, lah. No, oh, I mean, just not the lemon. Not the lemon, ah. Why we just eat, ah? Okay. Just bite. Who bites a lemon? Some people do it. There's lemon detoxes and oh. stuff. Oh, I'm so ah. not sensitive. Yeah, hey, same. Same you. Are you okay? You right, really yeah. sensitive? <laughs> it's my de- only one no. too. No. Oh my god, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good job, teeth. Same. We're impressing the dentist. Good so guess. wait, yours is, yours is nothing. No. Nothing. <coughs> but I promise you, I do have sensitive teeth like here. Okay, like you don't have to promise teeth. me. <laughs> no, because then nothing, you'll be like, bluff, are you saying? Nothing, nothing I can do for you. Like, it's not, they come out of the... Okay, hot soup, hot soup. Hot soup, hot soup. Okay. okay. Oh, one by soup. one, one by one. <laughs> <laughs> Hot see? or not hot? Don't have. No, don't have. I don't have. Hot. Hot, I don't have. Hot, don't have. Yeah, see, why is it so weird? Doctor, why, why is it so weird? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, but why, yeah, why is it so weird? Like, why am I only sensitive to cold stuff? Or Everyone's different. So, thermal sensitivity affects us all differently. Some people are more sensitive to something cold. Some people mm. to hot. Everyone's different. Mm. I see, okay. I see. And would there be different variation of sensitivity? Because I promise, I, I feel like, <laughs> I promise that I have sensitivity, like my two, sure. the the ones at the bottom, mm-hmm. they get sensitive sometimes. Like I suddenly feel like a tinkling and then it goes away. Mm. Sure. Yeah. But then I haven't in this game. They might be competitive too. So they're just trying to like, <laughs> Teach me funny things. Um, there'll be transient sensitivity once in a while. There might be because you've knocked it, you've eaten something. Oh. Um, yeah, sometimes we just can't explain it. Oh, mm. all right. Okay. Yeah. okay. So we've come to the end of this episode, but before we end this episode, what did we learn today, Kisha? Don't use charcoal. <laughs> <on the team. laughs> uh, anything too abrasive. Yes. Anything abrasive. too abrasive. Yes. Now, if you're using whitening strips or whatever it is, it also can cause stiff sensitivity. Mm-hmm. But then what do you do? But then, if you are still keen on tooth whitening, then consult your doctor and make sure you have a sensitive toothpaste at Correct. Hand for yeah. before and after care. Like me, who hurt my bottom row of my tooth from falling <laughs> down, and I've been using this for two and a half months to three months, and this really uh, works. Of course, yes. that's not you saw me a bit sensitive in my teeth when I yeah. ate the cold stuff. But that's me, like, really putting it there to, to mm. test it. But this helps me uh, a lot, and I strongly recommend you guys to go and get it. Ha ha, very good, very All nice. Alright, ha 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 ha, good, good, good. All yeah, right. if you guys have anything you guys like us to talk about, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you, Dr. Andrew, for coming uh, here and uh, educating us about teeth Thank sensitivity. You. You're welcome. And teeth whitening. Yeah. Uh, like, comment, square, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next episode. And keep smiling, yeah. keep shining. Uh-huh. No, I don't know what song you can oh, keep on always come. Don't sing with her. Because then you'll be your, 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 your age. Sure. <laughs> 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 it's a classic, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>